hey hi this is admin from admin 365 and today we are going to talk about how to perform a message trace in office 365 so let's get started so for us to start a message trace or to be able to perform a message trace we will have to be a admin uh, we need at least exchange admin account to be able to perform a message trace a global admin account can also perform a message trace so once you have the account you can simply go to office.com and then sign in with the respective account you can then click on the admin tile and it will then open the microsoft 365 admin center and once we are in the admin center let's click on show all on the left and then scroll down to the bottom under admin centers we will click on exchange this will then open the exchange admin center and in here we are looking for the mail flow tab by default it opens into the home tab we'll click on the mail flow and under mail flow we are looking for message trace so let's click on message trace and this is the place where we can perform a message trace in the tenant let's click on start a trace here to start a message trace you can see custom queries below as well but we will click on start a trace and we will define all the parameters which are available in a message trace and uh, here you can see the sender window the recipient window you can either keep both blank or add the necessary depending on the investigation which you're trying to do and uh, you can set the date by default it is today you can move it to 10 and then do a search it will give you instant report if you move it past 10 then it would take its time and create a csv file which is uh, a little difficult to understand but if you do it till 10 uh, you should see the information uh, right away once you click on search uh, here are the basic uh, tabs which is available you can select the delivery status if you want or if you're looking for specific email with a particular status you can check that or you can keep it by default if you have a message id every message has a unique id called message id uh, if you have that and if you want to search for that message id then you can do that and hit search uh, you can select the direction whether it is inbound email or an outbound if you keep all then it will do a search for both if you have an ip from where you want to trace what happened to the email you can do add the ip and these are the three types of reports available summary report is basically an instant online access report which basically gives you an instant table of what happened to the email uh, during the selected criteria a non summary report is basically for investigations it has a lot of things in it and extended report is an extended version of enhanced summary report it will give you much more information and as you can see it is mostly used for troubleshooting uh, issues with mail flow and you can see the description for each of them here by hovering your mouse on the i symbol so what i will do is just for showing you uh, just for a test purpose i will keep the sender and recipient blank and will do a by default blank search what it will do is it will show me inbound and outbound emails sent across my organization so and we'll hit search and as you can see for past two days uh, only these many email ad emails were sent out this is the sender which is internal this is a recipient which is internal so i haven't received any email outside the organization but if i'm looking for any specific email sent by a specific sender be it internal or external i can put it the email address here if i want to check what happened to the email sent to this particular recipient i can type the email address here be it internal or external and depending on the requirement i can do and hit search and in here the status is what we should be looking for it basically shows what happened to the email 
and if it shows delivered that means that the email has been delivered successfully if you want to expand to see the message event what happened to the email in step by step uh, we can simply click on the instant you will see more information about the email you can see that and it says the email was this delivered to the recipient's inbox folder so the email should be there in the inbox uh, you can check the message event to what happened to the email when it was sent out from the sender it was collected by uh, the server and it was submitted and then it was submit uh, successfully delivered you can see that and you can see the message id for the email in here so this particular email has a unique message id which is here the from ip is this and the total size of the message is this so this is how you can basically see what happened to the email in your organization or when it is sent outside the organization you can see that with the help of message trace message trace is very useful and it can be used for multiple purposes and it is very handy for an admin so uh, do let me know if you have any follow up question or any question about message trace which I might have missed and you guys have a nice day. Bye take care.